It day. is knees day. Happy knees. We are 2023. Ish. We are in 2023. Yes. And the first thing we're going to do for 2023 is we're going along the back beaches of Streaky Bay. And the first one is at Halley's Beach. So I believe this has got a boardwalk that you walk down on the beach. So we'll check this out. But again, the water already looks gorgeous. 35 today. 35 degrees, yes. Holy moly. Wasps. Big wasp there. Yes, so we're up at 10.30 to try and beat some of the heat. Beat the heat! This rocky patch right here, which is pretty nice. Have a mini swim. boardwalk but then you have to climb all the way back up. A little bit <laughs> but um yeah lovely down there it's got flies in here um very nice nice blue waters 35 degrees and a hot wind at yeah 10 30 and it's already 34 degrees Oof. we are heading to what they call whistling rocks so <clears throat> that high tide the water gets into different crevices apparently in the air, gets into the crevices and makes a pretty prominent whistling sound. So we'll see. I can't whistle. I've never been able to whistle. So you can whistle with the rock storm. So we'll suss this out. Thing. But one place is the blowhole and the other one's the whistling rocks. 
So we can't hear the whistles. But here's the holes. Oh yeah, some blow holes, I guess. The rocks are pretty cool. But no whistles today. Apart from John. Whistle, it's more of a. We're thinking that's the whistle. It's more of a heavy breathing. Wait. Wait. Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh, sorry, that was me, not the whistle. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. Definite whistles. It's like <laughs> heavy breathing. Sounds like you at night time, eh? That's cool. Go again when the waves come up. So we've come at a right time with high tide. And again, there we go. Stunning scenery as well. Definite place to stop, I reckon. That's cool. I like that. The issue with these beaches are the walks back up. Ooh. No, that's not the whistling rocks, that's me panting. Oh, check out this boardwalk back. Whoopsie daisies. A few dodgy ones. Don't do that. A few dodgy ones. This is Cape Bower Lookout. And just a little rocky road to get in, so nothing too bad. And no steps this time, so it's just walking up to the cliffs. And it's quite nice breeze out here too. But again, the views just keep delivering. It's amazing. Amazing. 
But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew granite just outside of actually it's not far from tractor beach where we camped last year but just outside streaky this place is awesome i mean the name the granites we knew there'd be granite rocks and seen pictures but what we didn't know is it actually is an awesome swimming spot little shallow places over there for kids it's like almost rock pool type uh, swimming but a beach rocks around it and it just yeah there's people down here with shades chilling relaxing so that's not what I expected or what we expected the granite rocks are awesome but this is a wicked spot Ooh. that's a big one That was me struggling to get up a granite rock. Hmm. Little fishies in here too. Very cool. I am so terrible jumping around rocks and it doesn't help when you've got thumbs on, don't know if you can see them, but yes, rock jumping is not for me, I've already split my thumbs, look at that, all these little fishies swimming in there, it's just stunning, one of the highlights of the trip so far, in our opinion, spend a whole day and actually it's quite cool even though it's high 30s today down here on the rocks it's a lot cooler there's a bit of a breeze it is just beautiful how nice is this and yes I'm in the water just don't climb on all the rocks, you'd be not a good rock climber like me. Wherever I'm parked, 
track, but no one else was going on it. This is right, you see on the GPS, they're going right to the tip. Sometimes it's worth going the extra rocky road and not stopping back at the safe car park because these views right at the tip are awesome. Just the air peninsula just has a stunning coastline. back from our drive and now <laughs> one of the downers of having a rooftop tent when it's nearly 40 degrees is it's sweltering and you don't really have a cool spot to sit so we can say that there's no, not much breeze where we are too no. which is good when it's windy and cold but when it's hot and you want a bit of airflow yeah. we don't have it so we're just sitting under one of their little sheltered areas. Kitchen's in there. We are just back there. So we're not nice and cold. nice and cool. Well, coolish. Just like the airflow. Airflow. It's all about airflow. Um, blowing in my hair. <laughs> tonight we're going to the Streaky Bay Pub Hotel. Yep. Can't wait to. They come pick us up. Yeah. So at the. Um, Island Caravan Park if you ring the pub they can pick you up free of charge at 5.30 and drop you back at 8.30 the 6 o'clock tea yeah. and then drop you back at 8.30 8.30 yeah. for free which is handy when either... bearing in mind it's about 5 6 k's out of town yes that's they why a beer yep. or, two or... or like us with the rooftop tent you know knowing we have to Pack up and set up. Pack up and set up. It'll just be easier. We're all set up here and they can pick us up and drop us off. So I do can't wait for that. Streaky Bay. The Islands Caravan Park at Streaky Bay is fantastic. We just couldn't get over the size of the sites. That was the winner for us. And we drove past the other caravan park. There's another one more in town. And they were just jammed in like sardines. They were, they were close. Some of them were closer to the foreshore, but jammed in and no shade. You couldn't so, even open, hardly open the car door in between. No. So definitely the pick of them. Oh yeah. And the reviews, yeah, on wiki camps and everywhere you read. Warranted. Warranted. So yeah. and really good price. Really good price for this. So yeah. uh, three nights is ninety nine dollars for a powered site. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. So the wind has kicked in at streaky today, so it's a good time for us to leave. And the temperatures 
dropped us 25 degrees so we're pleasant. We are going to the Woolshed Caves, Talia, uh, Woolshed Talia Caves, which we went last year, um, but want to go again because we missed the, those rock pools. You want to go again? Well, I do because when you go in, there's the caves on the left, and then there's on the right, which we weren't aware of, are uh, rock pools so you can swim at. We won't swim at the moment. So we want to have a better look today for exploration of it. So we've come at a good time where the tide's coming in. As opposed to last time, there wasn't any water. Oh yeah. So this is Woolshed Cave. You can see the pool climb all the way in. And the tide is coming in. So the water comes in there a bit. So the tide is way in. This is super cool. Air everywhere. You can tell it's a bit windy today. Very popular spot for tourists. So you can't beat the people. But um, very cool. Water there. So the cave is over there. And we are going to now go to the rock pools, which is where John's standing there. He's waiting for me. <laughs> Walk along and because the tide's in there's just all little rock pools. The water's come right up. So I know you see often people go swimming in them. Just watch the road right. Um, and they would be very nice to swim in. Woo! But they're just like little little fishing pools, little swimming pools, they're so cute and the water again is so clear. So definitely worth coming up high tide. Yeah, beautiful if you can manage to time it with the tide. 
definitely worth, worth it. And of course, then you get to see the rock pools, which is super cool. We're still saying though, John, the granites down his streaky way are probably the pick. But that's still worth stopping and having a look in the cave. Is just something a bit different. If you game it up, you can climb into the cave. I certainly we did not but I've seen people do it before. But yeah, and you can swim in the rock pools, which I've seen people do before. But at 24 degrees and blowing a gale, probably not the best day to be swimming in no, rock pools. Pretty rough. Out there, pretty rough. Um, but yeah, really nice.